okay, okay. Let's let's call, please. Thank you. Thank yeah. You, thank you. yeah. In the in the ticket ticket. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's. Okay, I will do and, this. And I got scammed by private taxi while I was in Hanoi airport. So the story goes like this. For some reason, I want to go to the big city, which is about three or four kilometers from airport. I checked the grab. The price was around forty k to sixty five k. Yeah. Remember the K. So I picked my luggage and going out. While I was about to book a taxi, a guy holding a cell phone, and in his cell phone there is a big picture of the Grab. He told me that uh, I don't have to ask for Grab. He is Grab. I know this is private service and usually it will be expensive. So I asked him like how much. He said、uh, up to me. Then I called it like sixty.、Uh, Yeah, remember I only said sixty. He said okay, and then I was thinking because I'm going to Big City, right? I also needed to come back, and he might need to wait for like fifteen to twenty minutes. I also asked the price for return. He said it will be the same. I mean double. So I followed him to his car and found out okay, there is already a driver in the car. So he just sat next to the driver. I was thinking okay, why he needs like two drivers? Is that because、uh, this is a scam? But at that time, the previous driver gave me a very good impression, which who take me from the bus station to airport, who charged me only 50k for almost 20 kilometer. And this so-called grab guy, he also talk very good English that we communicate with、uh, no misunderstanding. So during the way I was talking to him, and after arrived at the city, my luggage is in his trunk, so he won't worry that I will run away. And I went to buy something. I also bought two coke for. Them and、uh, everything was okay. So when we arrived at the airport, I put out one hundred twenty k of VND, which sixty times two is one hundred twenty, right? And then the driver started to saying that,、uh, oh, it's actually six hundred k VND, which is、uh, five times more expensive. And I was like,、uh, no, we agreed that price. And、uh, he found a lot of excuse like,、uh, okay. The sixty. Remember, I didn't say sixty k. I said sixty because、uh, in Vietnam, usually when we、uh, talk the number, a lot of people don't say that k. Usually, like one is like one thousand ten will be ten thousand. So you can say that is the mistake I make. I think you are、uh, you you wait down lah. You know, not six. You know, I six sixteen sixteen six six dollar. Sixteen dollar. The guy said、uh, he thought it was sixty dollar. Okay, sixty dollar times two, it will be one hundred twenty. Anyway, he found a lot of excuse like okay, he waited and the distance is too short. Nobody will go there, and he also asked me to ask for other taxi driver. I was like, I have a deal with you, and if I go ask other guys, I don't even speak Vietnamese and. Okay, follow me. Follow me. I take for you. I tried to use logic to reason with him, but.、Uh, It didn't work out, so I was like, okay, I'm willing to like pay twenty k, like、um, like almost two times higher. But he refused. He dropped like from six hundred to five hundred, and I was like, okay, if reasoning is not working, then I will say nothing because I was not in a hurry. I said I will only pay you two hundred k, and、uh, that's it. So whatever he say, I told him no, I don't understand, and I will not talk. Uh, eventually, like he, they dropped the price. I mean, with other guy, drop price to four hundred, but I still refused. And they even tried to drive the car a little bit, maybe trying to scare me. But I wasn't in a hurry, so I mean, I know I made a mistake, which I didn't say that sixty k VND. So that might be on me. But the price they raised is totally unacceptable. And、uh, after a while. Finally, we reached an agreement like three hundred k, and that's it. Because I think I have wasted like twenty seven minutes there, or maybe ten. During that time, I also turned my camera on、uh, to record that, just in case if they want hit me. I mean, I will obviously hit back because these two guys, I think,、uh, if necessary, I will fight back. I take for you. I don't care. I don't care. I said six is six. You now tell me I'm good. You've already got twenty. You just want forty. You yourself decide. You just want forty. You just But luckily that didn't happen because,、uh, you know, Vietnam and China. I suppose for sure Vietnam people will just、uh, assess Vietnam people. And with no offense, I know there are a lot of nice Vietnam people. So how can you avoid this kind of scam? Well, obviously it's better for you to take、uh, public transportation. And、uh, like if you want to use taxi, you can either use Grab. Actually, use B will be better. You can consider B as Vietnam's Grab. The other mistake might be I said like sixty, 
but uh, I wouldn't consider that it was my mistake because even if I said the correct number, I suppose they will find a way to scam me. Just like this girl's experience, I mean, she speak fluent uh, Vietnamese, she still gets scammed. So it's better to follow my previous rule, like use public transportation or use the Grab B. And if you want to hire a private car, it's better to ask uh, someone who is reliable, like uh, from hotel, from somewhere which you can go back to find him. Or maybe when you negotiate the price, you just uh, pull the money out and account to tell them this is the value and maybe record a video of that. I suppose that would be fun, but uh, who knows. Okay, then that's it for me today and I hope you have a nice journey in Vietnam. I mean, also in other countries because, because this kind of thing used to happen in China, like, I don't know, maybe 10 years, 15 years, or even 20 years ago, but still, it happened in Vietnam, and it is in the airport of Vietnam's capital. That is a little bit disappointing, but uh, just be advised. Ciao, ciao.